Hello guys. So with a very hectic lifestyle, I'm, I'm starting to have to work many hours in the day. Uh, you know, I'm going to the library, I'm staying there for the best portion of the day, coming back, it's, it's dark. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd gone in when it was dark, I've left when it's dark. I must be vitamin D deficient by now. Um, but yeah, one of, one of the things that I've always, you know, been okay with was keeping track of time. And one day this week, I, I, I was given a Red Bull for free, and I, I, I drank it stupidly. And, you know, I know myself, I've got a stupidly high caffeine sensitivity. If I have, one, like, like, a coffee past four o'clock, I'm not sleeping that night. And, yeah, so I had this Red Bull at, like, one o'clock in the afternoon, and I, I was wired for the whole day. I, I, I was so productive, but I've never felt so... So jittery and um, crazy, really. So anyway, I, I was working th throughout this whole day, and by the time it reached maybe seven o'clock in the in the in the afternoon, I, I kid you not, I'd been working straight since one. I'd realised that I'd missed my lunch, and this hadn't happened to me before unintentionally. I mean, of course, it happened intentionally in the past when I was skipping meals, but yeah, this is the first time it ever happened to me when I didn't really plan on it happening. And I mean, I've shared to you in a previous video that um, one of the, I had a phase for about a month where I would leave all the calories for a whole day and have it at the end of the day. And this sort of caught me by surprise. And I, I didn't really, well, I mean, by the time the evening came, I didn't really know what to do. And I got a message from someone quite a while back saying that, uh, you know, this had happened to them. And a, a load of you have messaged me saying that you um, are skipping meals and are having difficulty trying to compensate for it later in the day and what did I mean what did I do well of course when something un 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 unplanned happens when you've got an anxiety disorder that like anorexia or bulimia or anything of course the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to become quite anxious and think well this isn't part of the plan what am I going to do well the first thing that you have to really do and what I did was I just kind of I tell myself to calm down first of all because what's happened has happened and I can't change that but what I can do is a ensure that I don't let things slip today and b that it doesn't happen again so a not letting things slip for today what I did was I just thought you know what I've missed you know this meal I need to compensate for it and if you know if I, if I don't do this maybe one day in the future when I accidentally miss a meal again I'll just say oh but I managed to skip a meal that day and it's, it was fine and then things can sort of self-perpetuate out of control so you've really just got to kind of act on it and just say no I'm not going to let things slip at all and you've got to sort of realize that this does happen in real life as well um, you know I, I remember days when I, I, I'd be at home and my dad would come home after a really long day's work and he, the first thing he'd do, you know, he'd say hi, and he'd go straight to the kitchen because he, he'd miss lunch. And he would make the biggest meal because he was hungry. And it's just something, it's, it's in human nature. If, you, if you're if you hungry, you eat. You eat until you're full. You eat until you feel as though you've had enough. And I knew that if I didn't eat the right amount at the end of that day, that, that I would be hungry the next day, and it would just ruin the whole productivity. So... I just sort of doubled up on my meal and it was fine. And I guess if you're ha if you're struggling with this, you've just got to kind of I know I know it's difficult, but you've got to really force yourself to do it that day because you know that if if you know if 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 you let it slip that things will get out of hand quite quickly because if you let even the tiniest wiggle room for the eating disorder to get through it will get through it's like if you've seen those videos on youtube of octopuses getting out of like really tiny spaces it's just like that you know you just can't let things slip so that i mean that's what i did and it was fine and it worked and i don't plan on letting it happen again and i mean the way that you don't let it happen again is this you've got to really keep an eye out for it and i guess it, it's more for if you're in the earlier phases of going through recovery and you've got a meal plan that you need to stick to you've really got to keep an eye out for things I know that uh, a lot of people when they come out of eating disorder units or they've come out of an outpatient program and they've got a meal plan ready the first thing that people tend to let slip are the snacks that are happening throughout the day and they say oh it doesn't really matter it's only a 
X number of calories and it, you know, it tends to be like 100 calories and they're like, I, that doesn't matter. But as I've said, the tiniest wiggle room and things will get out of hand very quickly. So you've really, in the earlier stages, you've got to follow your meal plan or any plan that you've set in place. You've got to follow it religiously to the letter until you feel comfortable being able to be a bit more flexible. And by that, what I mean is, you know, just say you go out for a meal one day and it's particularly heavy. You know that you can be a bit more flexible and perhaps have a smaller meal later on in the day. But you shouldn't really be doing that in the earlier phases. No, no way will you be ready for it because you'll just really let things slip. It happened to me and I, I regret trying to do things too early. Uh, so d d just don't push yourself too hard because it can really backfire. The other thing that I've really learned from this is really not having too much caffeine. Uh, and this is another thing that a lot of people with eating disorders sort of try and do. And they just try and replace their hunger with some sort of stimulant, whether it be caffeine or I I've, se I've seen some people trying to take amphetamines to try and ward off the hunger. And yes, although it's a short term thing and it will reduce your appetite for that period of time, you will, you will lose weight, first of all, because you're not getting the number of calories that you need in the day, but you will become addicted to that drug, because it is a drug, caffeine is a drug, amphetamine is obviously a drug, and I mean, not only will you get the side effects of being on the drug, such as, you know, being on caffeine, you're, you're having to go to the toilet more often, you become jittery, uh, you get the twitches in your muscles, you know, it's, it's not fun, I've, see, I've seen people go through it, and it's not, it, does, it doesn't look fun. And then after that, you've got the withdrawal to ha to deal with, which is you know the headaches, the feeling low, and if 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 you're already feeling low with an eating disorder, that you know it it can really make you feel terrible, and uh, yeah, I I don't I don't intend on ever having too much caffeine anyway, but if you're thinking to use it as a way of getting around your hunger, just don't do it, um, because if you start doing it, you'll find it really difficult to stop. Uh, it's you know just don't let anything slip uh, even the little littlest bit and if you are struggling please let someone know that you are I don't know perhaps thinking about doing something before you do it or I mean if it has happened already just let that person know that it has happened that you, that you need someone with you for just 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 to be there for you so that you can get through this period without letting things slip so yeah I mean yeah, this video is sort of unplanned. It was based on uh, an experience that I had this week. Uh, if you've got any suggestions related to this, because I know that it is quite a, a topic that a lot of people tend to relate to, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get around to doing it as soon as possible. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching.